Good morning, Rangers. I'm Alexandra Ortiz. And I'm Alyssa Hernandez. All right, Gunner, I got a question for you. In 10 seconds or less, can you define financial literacy? It's whenever, like, you're talking about, like, money and problems and, like, more money, no, no more problems. And, like, you, like, have, like, problems with money and it's just, like, words about money and stuff. Yeah, define financial literacy in 10 seconds. What is that? No idea. No idea. Um. Um, so basically, like, with, like, the... Um, so like when you go to like the, the thing and then like it goes to that and honestly like it does all that so yeah uh financial literacy is literacy and finance is um so you just gotta have literacy and put it together with finances in 10 seconds or less can you define financial literacy no financial literacy is knowing what money is and what it does in under 10 seconds would you be able to define financial literacy for me wouldn't is that a hard wouldn't definitely wouldn't um honestly like i'm all for uh saving your money but that's really all i can give you mr kane define financial literacy in 10 seconds you know if i was going to define financial literacy i'd say first off you need to understand how your money works like do you have a savings account? How much is in your savings? Do I want to invest that in the stocks? Where's my retirement? How much am I going to have at retirement? How do I save for retirement? BJ Wainwright, define financial literacy in 10 seconds. Financial literacy is, a be is the ability to be able to understand your financial situation and make proper decisions that are beneficial for your financial situation. Mr. Woodbury, define financial literacy in 10 seconds or less. Being good at math, knowing how numbers work, and always keeping up the data and information to stay well informed. Boom. Dr. Richards, can you explain financial literacy in 10 seconds or less? Financial literacy is the ability to understand your finances, know where they go, how they're coming in, and how to disperse them appropriately without going into debt. Mr. Huerta, can you define financial literacy in 10 seconds or less? Fin to me, financial literacy is someone knowing um, how to balance a checkbook, what the stocks are, what the retirement options you may have, and just being in control of your own uh, financial destiny instead of somebody else, depending on somebody else. That was a great answer. Chica, define financial literacy in 10 seconds or less. Having a boatload of money and knowing what to do with it. Boom. John, can you define financial literacy in 10 seconds or less? Financial literacy is understanding what you need, money you need, to pay your bills now and in the future. That was a great answer. Um. Next, we have Grace and her team telling us about CSF. Hi Rangers, I'm Grace Hyatt. Today I'll be interviewing members of CSF. So today I'm here with Natalie McDonald. So how long have you been in CSF? I'm a lifetime member. I've been in CSF for four years. And how was the CSF luncheon? The CSF luncheon was nice. It was fun to see where everyone else is going and all their future plans. And what's one thing that you've learned from CSF over the years? I've really learned how to bring the community together through community service events. Thank you, Natalie. You're welcome. So today I'm here with? Matthew Spaulding. So how long have you been in CSF? Uh, three years. What was one of your most memorable moments in CSF? Um, just like helping with all the drives, like the, the book drives and stuff, and just being able to bring the community together. Thank you, Matthew. So today I'm here with? Haley Rasmussen. And how many years have you been in CSF? 
Uh, I'm a lifetime member, so all four years. And how was a lifetime member at luncheon? Uh, it was really cool to meet all the other CSF members from the other schools and get to hear what they're planning on pursuing in the future. Thank you. CSF is a really involved club that helps students get scholarships and get admissions into college. Next, we have Senior Life Plans with Daniela and her team. What's up guys, it's Freddie from Ranger TV. Today I'm going to be interviewing some of our Ranger TV students, asking them what their plans are after high school. Alright guys, today I'm here with... Natalie McDonald. Natalie, what are your plans for after high school? I'll be attending UCLA, majoring in bioengineering, and I'm going to try to get into biomedical research. Nice. What's up guys, today I'm here with... You know, EV. Noe, what are your plans for after high school? Um, I'm, I'm attending Fresno State, and I'm going to get my civil engineering degree. All right, Noe, how do you feel about going to your first year of college? <laughs> uh, you know, I feel pretty nervous. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to be living on my own for the first time in my life, and, um, yeah, I just got to lock in. So good. All right, Rangers, today I'm here with... Ambrose Bueno. Ambrose, what college are you going to be attending? I'll be going to Long Beach State and majoring in business marketing. What are you looking forward to the most in your first year? Well, there's a lot of stuff I'll be looking forward to, honestly. Um, but most importantly, I'll be looking forward to meeting new people. Rangers, today I'm here with? Malena. Malena, what college will you be attending? Chico State. And what will you be majoring in? Nursing. Malena, how do you feel about going from the high school environment to a whole new college environment? I'm really excited. Honestly, the environment's so much bigger over there, but I like that it's very naturey over there and there's a lot more to do. So I'm excited for like the next steps in my future. So, yeah. What's up, Rangers? Today I'm here with? Daniela Zapian. Daniela, what college will you be attending? I'm going to CSU Monterey Bay. Daniela, what will you be majoring in? I'm going to be majoring in psychology. Today I'm here with? Gabe Alaniz. Gabe, what college will you be attending? I'll be attending Cal State Fullerton. What's your major and what will you be doing in that major? Um, my major is business marketing and I plan to go into real estate after college. What's one thing you're looking forward to in college? Um, just making new relationships with people and finding new friends um, and just having a good experience overall. Sounds good. Social man. Uh. Social man. Wishing all our Rangers the best in their next four years of college. We're going to miss those guys. Next up, we have Selena and her team interviewing Miss Lap and Miss Bardonix about dance. My name is Ms. Bardonix and I teach Intro to Dance, Intermediate Dance, and International Dance. My name is Mrs. Lapp and I teach Intro, Intermediate, Advanced, Hip Hop, and Dance Force. This is my 20th year at Redwood and I've been, I didn't really pick dance. I wanted to be an elementary teacher and I was interviewing for an elementary position and they called me and told me this was open and that I had to come interview over here and our program grew. Years ago, I became full-time dance with both of us, so kind of chose me. This is my 23rd year here at Redwood, and um, dance has always been my passion since I was a kid, and went to school to be a teacher, and then I thought, you know, why not teach dance and kind of combine my passions for dance and education. So it's really been like a dream come true job for me. And what is the most rewarding thing about teaching dance? Honestly, it's watching the kids perform. They work so hard all year. You think about it, they take this class all year long, and then right here at the very end of the school year, they get to get out in front of these huge crowds in the LJ Williams and perform for people. I think it's super cool for them. I think the most rewarding thing is being able to teach kids dance that haven't had the opportunity to learn it. You know, I think all kids should be able to study the arts, so I think that's probably the most awesome thing. How would you describe your teaching style in three words? Creative, um, try to be student-centered, and then I'd say just dedicated, because bad day or good day, I'm here. <laughs> three words. It's all about kids. I think my favorite thing is to be able to come and watch and see what the kids do. I'm here, I like to facilitate, have a good time, see everybody every day, but it really boils down to the end that it's all about them. Rangers, it's been an exciting month and we have one more month to go. Let's finish off this broadcast with a recap of Powder Puff. Welcome back Rangers, I'm Ambrose Bueno. And I'm Noe V. And this is Ranger Sports. Sports.
Hi guys, I'm Haley Reese here with Ranger TV and I'm here interviewing Anae for Powder Puff. What are your predictions for tonight? Uh, I think us seniors are going to pretty much dominate this and win, really. Hey guys, I'm interviewing Anna Alexi. How are you feeling about tonight? Um, I'm a little nervous, but I'm looking pretty excited with everything that's going on. Um, I think we all practice so long just to, you know, get to where we are right now. So I think that's pretty exciting. All right, guys, I'm here with Will Kennedy. How are you feeling about tonight? Uh, I'm feeling great. We had great practices, and we're going to play great tonight. You think the girls put a lot of dedication into this? I think they put blood, sweat, and tears and a lot of hours. Yeah, this will be good. All right, thank you. Okay, whoa, look, they can never keep me down. I'm going, and if I ever fail, just know I'll go again. I never quit because I know that every loss may lead to another win. I'm going up. I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again. See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch. I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize. Hi, Rangers. I'm Zoe Alvarado, and I'm partying today with Ranger TV, and I'm here with Antonella. Hello, guys. So, what are your predictions for today's game? Okay, so my predictions, and what I want to happen is for the juniors to win. We practiced really hard. It was great practices, great team, great coaches. So, my prediction is that we're going to win tonight. Hi, Rangers. I'm here with Nathaniel. Hi. And he's one of the coaches for the junior team, and I wanted to ask, say, how did you guys prepare for this today? Uh, today, I don't know, we just kind of got hyped um, and warmed up. Like, we came out here about an hour early for warm-ups. Uh, just did what we did at practice, I guess. Just yeah. to... <laughs> and who do you think is going to win today? Oh, juniors for sure. We're whooping <laughs> butt. But I'm exactly who I'm supposed to be Cause it's the path that God chose for me So even if some doors close for me I still won't let y'all close to me So please step back where you're supposed to be Hey guys, I'm here with the head coach of the junior team. How do you feel that you took the dub home today? I mean, I'm just ecstatic. I mean, this game's usually for the seniors to win, for them to go home with something happy. Man, I'm sorry to burst their bubble, but juniors are number one. What can I say? I mean, I I'm really happy. I'm proud of our girls. They all worked hard for it, and I mean, it it's, it's them. They, they made that happen. I'm, I'm just happy. I'm here with the head coach. Ambrose Bueno. And how do you think your players play tonight? Hey man, we played phenomenal, you know, things just didn't go our way, but that's how life is, man, we came prepared, um, I had a fun time out here with these girls, they gave their heart out, and that's really all that matters. Upcoming in sports, our baseball varsity team beat the Pioneers 9-1 last Tuesday at the Ride Park. They also faced off again Thursday night, beating them 8-1. The varsity golf boys have a mini play at 2 p.m. May 1st, the golf boys will be competing in the EYL tournament. The Central Section Diving Finals will take place at Clovis West on May 3rd. Then, on May 4th, the Swimming Finals will be held there as well. Wow, it's going to be an exciting week for sports this week. Facts. I can't wait to go catch a game. Go out and support your teams. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time on Ranger, Ranger Sports. My friend Jacob's grandma passed away recently. He spends most of his days alone. I'm worried about him. To make matters worse, yesterday his favorite dog Roxy ran out the house and was hit by a car, killing her. He's really struggling. I tried reaching out to him, but he rejected my help. I don't know what to do. Jacob, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine, bro. Man, I know you've been struggling. I'm sorry. It's all good. Look, if you need someone to talk to, there's always help. It's, all, it's okay, man. reached the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. How may I help you? I need help. 